get me Wow, brother. what a sight. I am super mutant. I am death. When I get off duty, that Salisbury steak is mine. I feel like I need to take my shoes off my right here. If the enemy is within range, so are you. the console users. They want the mod authors to make the mod available on Xbox and PlayStation 4. What is reward? Not understand. Exactly. It's not like they're getting paid for doing this shit. Neither am I. But every single day they get all these requests. When is the mod going to be available on console? It's not like they haven't answered this shit before. They've been very clear since day one that the mod isn't coming to console. I mean, fucking hell, it's listed in three different places on the mod page. But all, all they see is, oh, mod? Yeah, I'm, I, let me, that's mine. This is my mod. Human, why look at words? What they tell you? Well, for one, they tell you that the mod isn't going to fucking be on console. Why keep and not share? Strong share with brothers make all super mutants stronger. I hear what you're saying. I mean, they could have developed the mod for the console, and it wouldn't have been that much extra work. But are they going to? F fuck no. Stupid human. Makes no sense. Look, Strong, it's ultimately a math problem. In a game like Fallout 4, the console market is at least five times the size of the PC market. And the PC users, at least on the Nexus, only like one-tenth of one percent of them are idiots. So if your mod gets 100,000 downloads on the Nexus, that means you're only dealing with about 100 idiots. It's completely manageable, to be honest. But you, you put the same mod on Bethesda.net, and now you're talking about 500,000 downloads. That's great exposure, but let's just say that the console idiot ratio is 1%. Well, it's not. It, it's a lot fucking higher, but we'll just go 1%. Just, just to be conservative. So you have 1% of 500,000 downloads, and that equates to 5,000 fucking idiots you have to deal with. It, it's way too many. It's just too many fucking idiots. There's no way you can deal with that many assholes and still fucking make mods. Think about like, it. Really. The idiots what just take up all your time. Just kill, human. Fix problem. Well, yeah, sure, fair enough. That would be one way. But Nexus lets us do something just as effective. We can block idiots. If someone is being an asshole in the comments section, they just give them a warning. And the next time they make a douchebag comment, they can block them from accessing the mod, and they never have to deal with them again. And they've only had to ever block, like, two people. It's just the threat of knowing that they can be blocked help reminds the user to be polite for the most part. No problem. But... <laughs> Bethesda.net doesn't let mod authors block users or effectively moderate the fucking comments. Their website interface is garbage, and their comments section always ends up a, a complete fucking shit show. There is no way to get info to the 99% of cool console users because the 1% fuck it up for everyone else. No, no, you don't understand, brother. I am different. No, 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 I know Strong. I, I know you like to play on a console from time to time, and it's okay, really. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging what you play on. You're, you're one of the cool console users of anything. Strong feel better, but humans should not help Strong. <sighs> well, for what it's worth, they've tried. They really have tried to help the console folks. The mod authors even did a test to see if the console user could be polite about the mod. Uh, fun fact. One of the authors of this mod is eight years old. I, I couldn't fucking believe it. Like, you know Peter? That kid from Fusion City Rising, uh, Deacon's son. Yes, I know. Yeah, him. This whole Brotherhood of Gold mod thing was his idea. Anyway, we figured no one, you know, would be an asshole to an eight-year-old kid, you know, right? You know, manners and shit. So, the rest of the authors put the mod trailer on Peter's YouTube page and let people know that an eight-year-old helped make a, a hell of a lot of the mod. And were there nice comments? Yeah, a ton of them. 
But sure enough, the fucking console idiots eventually showed up hurling profanities at a little kid. An eight-year-old fucking kid. He's still in elementary school. So, you know what they said? You know what they said, Strong? What? Fuck it. It just isn't worth it. They're not gonna take this abuse for free, so they're sticking with making mods for the nice folks over on the PC side. Now, if there were paid modding, we got paid for this shit, well, that would, that would be a different story. Why pay? Just smash! Exactly. That's the attitude I get from a lot of mod users. And, like, I don't even make mods, but they just think they're entitled to the fucking mod. Like, as mod makers, they just talk into the creation kit, MAKE MOD! And then the mod just pops out. But it's a little, little more fucking complicated than that. There's a lot of research, reading, and trial and error that goes into making a large quest mod. I mean, hell, you think someone without any knowledge of the creation kit would know how to do that? You really think, Strong? Strong not need words. Strong use smashing to get what he wants, not words. Well, that's just how they feel when dealing with some of these console users. They, they think they're entitled to the fucking mod. No, I guess maybe it's not just completely the console users. There's just idiots out there, to be said. At any rate, until they show some maturity, which is never gonna happen, really, until the mod authors get paid for dealing with them, they, they're just not gonna do it. They're not gonna put the mod on console. Strong understand. Well, I'm glad you understand, Strong. That, that's great. Good for you. Good for you, champ. <laughs> Hey. <clears throat> What's the plan? Your thoughts? Have you seen my combat knife? It's the one that says bad motherfucker. It's time we parted company. Do I have a choice? <laughs> Just messing with you. Actually, I changed my mind. All right, are you ready to go then? <laughs> <laughs>